Hi everyone, my name is Emily Miller and I am a Grand Valley State University alumna from 2014. I am currently an elementary art teacher up in Rockford Public Schools and have been there for six years. Today we are going to do a step-by-step -step drawing on how to create Louis the Laker. Hope you have fun! So for this you will want a pencil, a sharpie or black marker to outline, and then a thing of crayons or colored pencils or markers, whatever you have to color with. I'm going to start with the pencil, that way in case I mess up, I can always erase it. I'm going to start with the head of Louie, which is sort of a U shape. I'm going to start up here with a curve, and then flat for the chin, and then another curve on this side. Then when I'm done, I'm going to do the ears and the hair. So for the ear, I'm just going to do a bump. The hair goes over and up, but then his bill of his hat comes down, around, and then I do the same thing the side. So this goes back up, down, over, and a bump. So now we have the ears, the hair, and the brim of his hat. To finish his hat, I'm going to do a circle and a circle at those tips, and a straight line across. And then I'm going to do the top of his hat. The top of his hat goes curved line, curve, straight across. And I'm gonna to try to draw the GV inside. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. It's a little tricky. Now it looks like his head's not connected to his hat, so I'm going to draw just a little line to connect his hair behind his hat. Now I'm going to make his face. So Louis has a very angry grin on his face, so I'm going to do it almost like a sideways teardrop, where I start on my right side and I'm going to curve up, around, and then back over to a point. And then his teeth are just straight up and down, so I'm just going to draw lines, adding his teeth in. Now I want to make sure that I add his cheeks and his chin lines when he's making that grimace. So here's one curve to the left of my mouth. I have another curve up here where his chin is. And then I'm going to add his nose. His nose can be a little tricky. I'm going to do a letter C and then a letter U, and then the backwards C. And then I'm gonna draw two lines straight up. That's the bridge of the nose. Now I'm going to do the eyes. So I'm gonna start with just a circle on both sides of his nose. And then in the circle, we're gonna draw another circle. And then in that, we're gonna draw a tiny little line that's going to stay white. We're going to color in the rest of this. Now his face is done. Now we're ready to do the rest of his body. I'm going to start with his t-shirt shape. So right next to his neck, not at the bottom, next to his neck. I'm going to start with a line and that just goes straight out down and straight in. This is the sleeve of his t-shirt. And then I'm going to draw a straight line down. Probably maybe about three or four fingers long. And then bring the line across. And I want it to be symmetrical so it's the same on both sides. So now he has his t-shirt. But now we need some arms because Louis is going to be flexing. I'm going to start with his muscle and then his arm coming out on the bottom to where his elbow is. And then I'm going to draw his forearm coming up and then his elbow coming up to where the forearm is. I'm going to curve this around for my hand and then I'm going to curve in for where his fingers would be bending where his hand is here, and then put a thumb on here. If you want to add fingers, you can add fingers as well. 
I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Start with the muscle. Then I'm going to curve around to that elbow. I'm going to bring up that forearm. Bring up the other side. Bring my hand around. Bring it around to the curve. Bring up this part of his hand. There's my fingers and my thumb. Now I'm going to add his pants. That's easy because that's just a straight line down. Straight line, straight line down from his waist, and then over and up, down, and over. So now what we have left is the stripes on his shirt and his belt. For his belt, I'm going to be drawing a square inside of a square and a straight line on both sides. Then I'm going to be adding the stripes, which is just stripes straight across his t-shirt. His arms, he does have some stripes that go a different direction, so I'm going to do those. And then I'm going to go straight across all the way up. Now I'm going to trace over this with Sharpie. So that we have nice clean edges. Now I'm going to color. So for your colors, you will probably want a black, a blue, and an apricot crayon. I'm going to start with my apricot. So this is coloring his face and his arms. I want to make sure that I avoid the mouth so the teeth stay white. But I want to make sure I get my ears. Now I'm going to use black for only a few areas. His hair, the brim of his hat, and his belt. And I have a little part of his boots way down here, so I'm going to color those in too. Okay, now it's time to do the stripes, the pants, and his hat blue.
I forgot. I have one little thing, which is adding a little bit of a yellow band on his hat. Now we're all set. Enjoy, Lakers.